Father, once again today, we're so thankful for your amazing love. Now, God, it's my desire for this couple to make it. It's my prayer that they keep you at the center of everything that they do. I pray, God, that you'll touch Daniel and help him, God, be a godly leader of his home. And God, I pray you'll touch Taylor. Give her what she needs to be the woman of God and a wonderful wife to Daniel. And God, just bless her in every way and the mother that she desires to be at some point. God, I pray you'll just bless this marriage. And we're so thankful today, God, to know that as believers, this is not just a contract that's going to be signed here in a little while. It's a covenant that's made between Daniel, Taylor, and you. My name is Sarah, and I'm Taylor's husband. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm so happy that Daniel's coming into our family. He's amazing. He's a great fit, and I know he's going to be a great husband. Yeah, I'm Chris. I'm Daniel's brother. Love big. Love real big. Love when you don't want to. Do your best to keep your words kind during those moments of intense fellowship. And remember, never go to sleep mad at one another. Hold on to each and every moment. You're going to need the good ones to help you get through those bad days. Allow those bad days to lead to strength and growth. I love the both of you and I wish nothing but the best. Taylor, I want to say thank you for all you have done to make our wedding day special. It is going to be great. When we met, I knew there was something special about you. And look now, you're going to be my wife. I love you more than you'll ever know. And I know I have a hard time shoving it most of the time, but you can believe me. You always have and always will. I cannot wait to see how beautiful you'll look. I love you, Taylor. Daniel. The ring is a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and it has no end. No giver or no receiver. For each is the giver and each is the receiver. Daniel, do you take Taylor to be your wife? If so, say I do. I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her? forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore, if so said. I do. I do. Taylor, do you take Daniel to be your husband? If so, say I do. I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore, if so say I do. I do. By the power invested in me, by the great state of North Carolina and as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you man and wife. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Logan. with all of my heart and I wish y'all the best life and I know you will because you both are achievers and go-getters and you will create the best life. And as far as marriage advice goes, but first and foremost, you need to learn how to say yes ma'am. <laughs> and what's yours is hers and what's hers is hers. <laughs> Communication goes a long way. Keep it completely open and honest and that'll make your life a whole lot easier. So just toast to Taylor and Daniel. I, Daniel, take you, Taylor, to be my wife. I, Taylor, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. My partner in life, my one for love. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. My partner in life and my one true love. I will love you faithfully. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Through the best and the worst. The difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my heart to keep. To have and to hold. 
In sickness and in health. For rich or for poor. And with this ring. I take you as my wife. I take you as my husband. As long as we both shall live.